Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve this question uh, assuming you don't know the equation and many questions like this. So um, the way we're going to solve it is first we're going to look at the units that are given in the answers. So these are the units, right? So we're going to use something called dimension analysis, right? So I want to build milligrams per liter from the information I'm given. So look at all the numbers. This is, these are the numbers we're given, right? So we want to have milligrams on the top, right? See, you see, milligrams on the top here. So the only equation that has milligram on the top is this guy, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I write down five milligrams per minute, exactly what I'm given, right? But the bottom unit is not right. I have to make a liter, right? See, this is liter, but I have minutes now. Right? That's not useful, so I have to change it. So I have to use an equation that has a liter in the bottom and a minute or something on the top, so I can cancel the minute, right? So look at this equation. This is 30 liter per hour. So first of all, let's solve the hour issue. So one hour is like 60 minutes, right? These are the same thing. So instead of 30 liters per hour, I can write 30 liters per 60 minutes, because one hour is 60 minutes, right? Now, if I multiply this number here, it's not gonna work. I have to turn it, right? Invert it. So this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna write down times See, I want 30 liter in the bottom, 60 minutes on the top. You see where I'm going? So now I can cancel the minutes. So I'm left with milligrams per liter, right? So the unit is milligrams per liter, and the numbers are, see, 30 divided, 60 divided by 30 is just a two, or we can cancel these two, and it would be a two, so five times two is a 10. So it's 10 milligrams per liter. So hopefully the answer is E, which is E. Okay, cool. But as you can see, I don't know these equations and whatnot. Um, so, well, since I explained e, these stuff, I can explain this too. So just remember, uh, the half-life equation had a, had a 0.7 in it, right? Just remember that, right? Again, I'm gonna solve this by using dimension analysis. So I wanna have hour at the end. What did I do? Okay, hour, right? See, so my n unit is hour, right? So I have 220 liters, right? Now, if I say 50 liter per hour, right? See, the hour comes up. Be why did I do that? Because I wanna cancel the liter part, see? I wanna cancel the liter, but remember, uh, for half-life you have a 0.7 or 0.69 whatever in it so don't forget that so it would be so these would cancel 22 divided by 5 I think it's 4.4 and 4.4 times 7 it should be 2 almost 3 and and just pay attention the unit you're left with is hour so it would be yeah right so I don't have a calculator but yeah almost there um, again I didn't need the equation because all I cared was I want a unit of hour so uh, I don't know this I just know this um, let's solve another one why not so the n unit is milligrams right so let's see where are the milligrams so I have a milligram here so I have two milligram per liter, but I want to get rid of this liter. So if I have something that has liter on top, it's super. So see, it has 50 liters, that's beautiful. So I just write down 50 liters, so liters, liters cancel. So I'm left with milligrams as the unit, and two times 50 is 100, last time I checked. Let's see if it's still 100, so it should be D, it is D, okay. Again, I don't know the equations, and yeah, so, of course, if it's not IV, you have to divide it by F. I remember F is unitless, so we just divide it so it doesn't affect your unit stuff. Whatever. Uh, these are don't have any. Um, well, this doesn't have much equation in it. Uh, should I do that? Why should I do that? Let's see if we have anything with. Is that equation question? 
load this. No, thank you, don't need that. If you need explanation for anything, just let me know. I just want to tell you what is dimension analysis. They use it a lot in physics. Um, anyways, so I want to build milligrams per liter. Where should the final be? Well, that really don't need any calculations. It just um, you have to notice it's like two half lives, whatever, seventy five percent. Again, if you need an explanation, just say it. I'll, I'll post for every single of them. Just don't want to waste your time. So now this one, let's see if we need uh, any calculation. Well, again, this one is just half life. If you need help, just let me know. Uh, that's, I guess that's it. Probably could do this too. That's. Yeah, that's another dimension analysis, why not? Um, so the rest that I'm not doing is because it's either too easy or, oh, let me explain, sorry, what I'm doing. Or uh, whatever, just tell me how I can explain anything. So the unit I have, again, is milligrams per liter. So I write down milligrams. So I'm looking for something with milligrams, so it would be this guy, so it's 10 milligrams per minute. So again, I have to somehow fix it so the liter is down the minutes is top see this equation but this is liter per minute so it's 0.5 liter minute see I turned it so it's gonna work so minute and minute would cancel 10 divided by half is a 20 so it's 20 milligrams per liter so your best friends are your units right so hopefully you see yeah okay um, this one so you want to get hours, is it the half-life, yeah, again, half-life, well, I'll do it since I talked about it. So I have 40 liter divided by, I mean, it's better, I read it, as if I don't know the equation. So I want to have the liter in the bottom, 20 liter per hour, you see, this one. So this liter is on, because this is the only way I can cancel the liters. But again, equation of half-life has a 0.695 or whatever. Um, so anyways, this would cancel that. This is just a two, so seven, sorry, it's 0 0.7. 0 0.7 times two, um, what did I screw here? Two uh, liter per, oh, right, sorry, it's a two, it's not a 20. My bad. So anyways, this would be a 20, so 20 times 0.7 is 14, so I'm just doing it real time. Hopefully I'm not confusing you. So the units cancel, so 20, 14 hours. So I'm just gonna explain that again. I wrote a 20, but it was a two. So apparently that's important in mathematics. It's good to know. Um, okay, so now let's say we wanna do this one. So the way this is gonna, this is a little bit more tricky. Um, should we every, every eight hours to obtain an average? Okay, so we wanna have 15 milligrams per liter at the end, right? So, and then, um, what else do we have? So, we have liters per hour, so I could write down 5.5 liter per hour. So my liters would cancel, but I have an extra hour unit, right? So I just multiply by eight hours, see, eight hours, right? Am I wrong or am I wrong? Um, so the hours would cancel. So now I have to say eight times 5.5 .5 times 15, it looks like 660 to me, 60 milligrams, right? So. Again, this is because we're using um, half-life and stuff like that. But remember, I don't know any equation. So that's the whole point of this, right? I'm not encouraging you to do this, but just saying if you're freaked out in exam, you can probably do this. Um, is there anything else I can do? I don't know. I don't see any equation. Yeah, so that would be it. Hopefully it helped you.